For our next task, we are asked to graph the function uh, y equals negative 2 times the absolute value of x, all over 3, and then that quantity minus 4. Well, uh, in order to do this, we're going to first determine the parent function, state the argument, rearrange the argument to determine the values of k and d, which are horizontal transformation uh, indicators. We're going to rearrange the function equation, uh, if necessary, to determine the values of a and c, which are vertical transformation indicators, and then we're going to state the transformations in an appropriate order. We're then going to graph the function in three different ways, uh, using uh, each transformation, showing each transformation individually, using the table method, or using the transformation formula, which we sometimes call the machine. So the first thing we want to do is determine the parent function. In our case, it's y equals the absolute value of x. We then want to determine the argument, and in our case the argument is simply x. So now to determine the k and d values, sometimes people find that tricky, but really the default setting for k is 1 and the default setting for d is 0, because k multiplies and d um, is something that's added to it, and the identity for each of those, uh, for the mul multiplying is 1 and for adding is 0. A less technical way of saying it is simply to say x equals 1 times x minus 0. So k is 1, d is 0. We can then rearrange the function equation if necessary to determine a and c. Well, negative 2 times the absolute value of x all over 3 is the same as negative 2 over 3 times the absolute value of x. And then we're subtracting 4. So really what we have is an a value of negative 2 thirds and a k value of negative 4. Well, a verbal description of the transformations that occurs when a equals negative two-thirds is that we have a reflection in the x-axis followed by a vertical compression by a factor of two-thirds. And when c equals negative four, we have a translation down four units. So to show each transformation individually is the object of method one. We begin with our parent function, y equals the absolute value of x, and these are the coordinates. What we then want to do is reflect it in the x-axis. So every one of these points, 0, 0 for instance, will have a um, y value that's been multiplied by negative 1. So that becomes 0, 0. 1, 1 will become 1, negative 1, because that's what happens when you reflect something in the x-axis. And finally, 2, 2 will have uh, new coordinates of 2, negative 2. The image of negative 1, 1 will be negative 1, negative 1. The image of negative 2, 2 will be negative 2, negative 2. And so we can now discard the black curve and focus on the green. And we're one transformation in to our three transformation question. Well, the next thing we want to do is consider a vertical compression by a factor of 2 thirds. What we're going to have to do is multiply every y coordinate by 2 thirds pushing us a little bit closer to the x-axis. Well, it gets a little bit crowded here, but what happens is 1, negative 1 will become 1, negative 2 thirds. And 2, negative 2, the image of that will be 2, negative 4 thirds. Every y-coordinate uh, in green has been multiplied to uh, by 2 thirds to become the y-coordinate in blue. We can now discard the green curve and focus on the blue. And we're now two transformations in to our uh, three transformation problem. The last transformation that occurs is a translation down four units. So we're going to take each one of these uh, coordinate points on the uh, blue curve, uh, ignore these uh, lines right here, um, but we're going to move each one down four units, and that's going to affect each y coordinate. So zero, zero becomes zero, negative four. One comma negative two thirds becomes one comma negative fourteen thirds. Two negative four thirds becomes two comma negative sixteen thirds. Um, some facility with fractions is quite uh, beneficial here. And so now, next what we're going to do is discard this blue curve entirely and simply focus on the red. And there it is. And that is our final curve, y equals negative 2 thirds times the absolute value of x, and that entire quantity uh, subtract 4. Okay? So if we wanted to see all those on one graph, it would look something like this.
Okay, so then what we can do, instead though, method two, cut to the chase a little bit quicker, we can uh, simply consider the points on the parent function and then consider the effects of k and d. We want to divide each x-coordinate by k. k is 1, so the x-coordinates are unchanged in the first column. We want to then add the d, the d value to each x-coordinate, but the d value is 0, so the x-coordinates remain unchanged in the d column. We're done with horizontal trans, uh, transformations, of which there were none, and we consider the vertical transformations. Well, in negative 2, 2, when we multiply um, each y-coordinate by negative 2 thirds, is going to become negative 2 comma negative 4 thirds. And what we have here is every one of the y-coordinates in the previous column being multiplied by negative 2 thirds. We then subtract 4 from every y-coordinate to um, account for our translation down four units and we get these coordinate points here and what we can then do is simply graph this curve graph those points as well as our parent and when we graph our parent curve and then graph the other points that we indicated there we then see that what we want to do the nature of this curve is to begin at the origin and graph through uh, with straight lines all the other points so we do the same thing the image of the origin is here and we graph through the other points with straight lines perhaps of a slightly quicker method than the chart is to use the transformation formula also known as the machine this formula is given by xy maps onto x over k plus d comma a y plus c we already know our a k d and c values and so what we need to do now is plug each one of our points from our parent function through that formula. Well, negative 2, 2 maps on to negative 2 over 1 plus 0 times comma, and then negative 2 thirds times 2 minus 4. And when you follow all the math, you get a new image point of negative 2 comma negative 16 thirds. Similarly, negative 1, 1 gets pushed through the machine and comes out as negative 1, comma, negative 14 thirds. 0, 0 becomes 0, negative 4, and 1, 1 and 2, 2 also become transformed. And so, again, what we have is our parent function, which is good to know, as well as um, the points from the previous page that got pushed through the machine that we're able to plot and then the curve that we're able to uh, connect using the same type of behavior as the parent function.